Alrighty guys, so this is our next installment of Casual Friday. So as you can see, we are sitting on our settee because that is our thing for Casual Friday. We keep it casual by sitting. We are in need of a new head sail before we splash on December 3rd. So we are trying to quickly go through the process of ordering and getting that head sail in. You might be wondering who we're going to be going with for our head sail. Now on Somnium, we actually ended up sewing our own sails, but we just don't have the time or the area to do that anymore. We wanted to keep it a little bit DIY, so we wanted to see if we could save money by measuring our own sails because it doesn't really make any sense for us to have someone come out and professionally measure our sales when we can do it ourselves and pay the premium for that. We did end up starting with getting some quotes from local sale lofts that were pretty high. Then we went online and we did a few Google searches and we found precision sales and that's who we're going to be going with. We saw that they have reviews on other sailing channels, a ton of YouTube content as well about their sales, and they have a lot of information on their website. And it seems like they're a good option that is cost effective as well as being really good quality. Just real quick guys, for the sake of transparency, we are working with Precision Sales to get this head sale at a discount, so just full disclosure on that for you. Once we decided to go with Precision Sales, we requested a quote and we were able to walk through all the various options that they have with someone on the phone. So the way the process works, it's really easy. You just request the quote from their website and you get a quote extremely quickly and then you schedule a phone call with them through that quote and you go over all the options on the phone. Once we got off the phone, we ended up making the order and they sent over a measurement form that we are going to need to fill out today. It's going to be a little interesting since we're going to have to be seated. That's right. It's Friday. So we it's have Friday. to sit. We have to sit and measure ourselves. So we're going to show you how easy it is. Yeah. If we can do it while we're sitting, I think you guys can do it at home. So Probably. let's get to measuring. Alrighty guys, we were on the foredeck of our boat and we were about to measure for our head sail. And as you can see, we are still in chairs. The first measurement we need to take is the furling drum height. So that's going to go from this point of interaction here all the way to the clevis pin on the forestay. So we got one foot three inches. The next two measurements are a little more complicated, but really they're not complicated at all. They just require you raising a measuring tape with your either your jib halyard or your internal halyard if you have a CDI furler like ours. We are going to go ahead and just tape off this halyard with our measuring tape. Pretty easy trick. So we are taking the head sail maximum bluff measurement. I'm going to use this messenger line to raise our internal halyard. Still seated in the chair. Let's do it. Alrighty, so as you can see, that tape goes all the way up to the top of our furler. Now we're going to take two measurements, and it's really windy, but I think the tape hopefully will hold. I'm really nervous I taped it. The second measurement while well, this tape measure is still up there is the four triangle height, and I'm going to have to measure this to the side deck of the forward side of the mast, so basically right here. Alrighty, so that's it for those two measurements, and let's see what I wrote down in my phone on the measurement form. 38 feet 9 inches for the head cell max loft, and 38 feet 10 inches for the four triangle height. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, and the tape did hold even with all that wind. Made me nervous. So now we have to measure the water line to force day and the water line to base. If we were on the water, I'd probably just use a regular tape measure and do it from the deck and just measure basically straight down to you know, the water. But since we're on the hard, uh, I think it's gonna be easier for me to go down below and have Randy hold the tape measure up here and me measure from down there. From the pin to the water line. So we've got three foot seven inches. Let's go to the other one. Base to water line. And that's two foot nine inches. This time we're going from the forestay to the base of the mast. This is the four triangle base measurement. And that looks like about 13 foot six inches to me. The last two measurements are going to be the absolute forwardmost part of the jib track and the absolute aftmost portion of the jib track. So basically the whole range that your jib trap goes. Now we don't have a jib track on this Endeavor 32. I don't believe they even came with them. We're basically just going to put a, you know, a forward position on the tow rail, which is, you know, where we could put the block and then an aft position on the tow rail. So the first position is going to be 
right over here. So we figured this would probably be the most forward position we'd ever put that block, so 12 foot 6 inches. This is the aft most position we'd ever put that block, so 21 foot 2 inches. The last thing you're going to have to do is measure the size of the left tape that you'll need if you have a furler. So since we have the CDI furler, we found a drill bit that fit into this extrusion. Now we found a quarter inch drill bit is the right size. Now I know this is rigid, so it can't bend into there, but you can see that it goes into the groove that that left tape would fall into. So the measurement guide says that a quarter inch drill bit will be the number eight left tape size. Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. We managed to measure our head sail while in chairs the whole time. I think if we can do it in chairs, you guys can do it at home under normal circumstances just fine. It's pretty easy. We also found out Precision Sales is having a Black Friday sale. Go ahead and check it out. We have a link in the description below. And as always, if you liked this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell if you want to know each time we upload a video. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by